537 right now, it is a historic day at St. Louis City Hall. The newly elected Board of Aldermen in St. Louis City will be sworn in. Fox 2's Laura Simon is outside of City Hall with a look at the changes uh, people they serve can expect. Good morning to you, Laura. Good morning to you, Blair. Good morning, everyone. I think the most notable change here is the board today will officially shrink in half from 28 members down to 14. And this marks the end of a 109 year run where the city of St. Louis had 28 wards. So that's the most notable change there for you this morning. The inaugural events will begin at nine this morning. Mayor Tashara Jones is expected to make some remarks ahead of the inauguration ceremony for this new board of Alderman. She's expected to speak about the importance of continued collaboration and communication in the city. The board is reducing in size from 28 to 14 members and about half consider themselves to be progressives. According to our reporting partners at KMOX, outgoing moderate Democrat Jack Kotar says the amount of progressives is concerning to him, but the outgoing progressive alder woman Annie Rice says this new wave of progressives will be a good thing for the city of St. Louis. After the Mayor speaks today, the inauguration board of aldermen president, uh, the board president Megan Green and the newly elected board is going to happen for the, this inauguration around 930 this morning. We do know that 10 incumbent members and four newly elected members are going to be sworn in and then they're going to take their seats in council chambers for their first meeting of the 2023-2024 session on the second floor of City Hall where there will be half as many desks than there were in the previous session. The inauguration will be taking place inside of St. Louis City Hall's rotunda, again starting at 9 this morning. The public is invited to attend. Reporting live downtown just on Tucker and Market outside of City Hall this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.